it's that time of year again where we all get the opportunity to hit the reset button. Yes, happy new year and welcome to 2021. By now you've probably realized life has a, a new norm, or at least it's probably going to be that way for a while. And that means you need to take a good look at what you need to do to fine tune, fine tune your schedule, fine tune your life, fine tune and hit the reset button to reach your goals this year. And by the way, goals can be short term or long term, but we're going to discuss three ideas today that I personally use in order to reach my goals daily. Welcome to Flourish, where we explore how to nurture, coach, and inspire the next generation for success and let their genius flourish. And we do this by working on our own self-development and then teaching it to our children, sharing our knowledge to help them thrive and grow. And the bonus is we get to do the same. So let's dig right into it. How do you do that? How do you reach your goals? How do you reach that daily schedule requirement? There's three things. Number one, first and foremost, you set yourself an intention, a true intention. Second, you need your emotions to match that intention. What gets you out of bed every day? What gets you psyched? What do you love to do? And how can that translate into your goals? Because if you're not excited about what you're doing, <laughs> you're probably not feeling very, very happy these days. So you gotta get psyched. And the third tip is since we all have the same amount of time, it's important to know where your focus is and how you're spending your time. Are you spending it wisely? Or are you getting distracted a little too much these days? <laughs> so easy to do, I know. So today I will discuss these three ideas and I am going to also give you examples on how these reach your goals. So make sure you listen to the very end because whether you're working from home, you have four kids doing homeschooling, you have a dog, you have people who want three meals a day now and oh, that wasn't in your schedule before, was it? <laughs> you need to recalibrate and understand your time blocking in the area that needs the attention the most. Because if you're not reaching your goals daily, there's something out of sync. And we need to understand we have to adjust to the new norm. And we need to do that by reaching our goals. And we need to do that by understanding how we're feeling, what's our intention, and where that time's going. So let's get ready to recalibrate. Because goals are more as I mentioned, than a yearly event. They are a daily event. And because I mentioned in the last episode that I would share my methodology with you, I break it down daily. That is my secret sauce. That's the secret sauce. So number one, set your intention. What is the one thing that you really need to do today. The top, top priority in order to reach your goal. The idea here is to break it down in components, building blocks, stepping stones, baby steps. Break it down into components because if you start looking too far ahead, you'll lose sight of the present moment. The way you break it down into three components is what is your long-term goal? That's number one, that's in the future. That's where you're going, that's your vision. What are the steps in order to reach that goal? Start thinking backwards. You have a big picture goal, how do you get there? You don't have to know all the steps, 
but you need to have a starting point and a finishing point. How are you going to get there? Because guess what? You will recalibrate, retool, re-engineer, sailing your ship, going through a storm. Oh, let's redirect that. Let's set that compass on course again. <laughs> so you don't have to know every single step. You need to know what you need to do today. That's the third component in order to get there. Three components. So what do you have to do in the present moment to get one step closer? And if you only think about this as I need to take action to get one step closer, because nothing's going to change without action, without the momentum of moving forward. Hit that reset button. So what is intention? I'm, I'm hearing it actually being used a lot in terminology these days, but honestly, intention is in fact your aim. Where are you going? Your motive, your objective. What's the plan? What's the purpose? What is the end goal? Because that's your hope. Those are your dreams. Start moving towards that. And it takes a little bit of practice, I'm going to say. Okay, a lot of bit of practice. But once you start and you gain that momentum and you have a 30-day you calendar of what you know you have to do every day, maybe you have a 7-day calendar or a 5-day calendar, what do I need to do every day? And at the end of the week, you regroup, you recalibrate, you review. Is it working? Isn't it working? It does not have to be perfect. And for me, it took me a while to figure out what kind of schedule worked for me in order to create this show. <laughs> Thank you around the world. I'm, I'm, I'm super psyched about that. That gets me out of bed every day. I, mean, I can tell you that's, that's pretty awesome. But I know in order to bring this show to you today, Two days ago, at the latest, I had to do my research, I had to write the show, I had to rehearse the show so I could digest what I wanted to tell you to make sure it's quality because I'm not about quantity. Secondly, yesterday, I needed to actually record the show so then it could be produced so then it could be uploaded, so it could be heard around the world today. So think about that when I, I'm mentioning what my goal was, my daily schedule was, I needed to think backwards because I needed to know what worked for me. I could do the show all in one day, but I'm not a last minute person. And I mean, I can be if I have to be, <laughs> but let's not do that every day. Let's not have that, that stress. But for me, it worked because I had a schedule commitment. I had a time commitment and I also have other things going on. Ooh, doesn't everybody? Yes. Doesn't make me special. It makes me understand how I have to set my daily goals, my daily intention. That helps me create a better show. You need to think for yourself, for your students, for your children, for your employees. What works best? What gets them psyched? How do they plan their scheduling? What works best for you? Then you can help others learn to do the same because we're all originals. It's not a cookie cutter situation. You need to know what works for you and be pro proactive. Control your day. Stay in control as much as possible because otherwise you're just reacting to other people's goals and wishes and mom, 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 mom. Plan for those mom moments, dad moments, employee moments. Plan for that. Scheduling. At least until you get used to it. And you do that by setting your goals daily because you don't want to be chasing the day. 
you don't want to be running around with, you know, where, 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 where did it go? No, have a daily goal. Even if it's just small, you have to start somewhere. And that brings me to a, a great man, Kobe Bryant, who spoke to really what drew his focus, how he became legendary. And I quote, listen to your inner self, set your intention, take the time to observe yourself in the moment. In the moment, you need to be present every day. Be in the moment. Which brings me to number two. Match your emotion, your energy in motion with your intention. We all have a psyche, an identity that makes up our personality. So we know what gets us jazzed, what gets us going. Because you have to try things in order to know what is your creative avenue. What is it that you're like, oh, I want to go to sleep because I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing. Maybe that's overreacting. That's what I'm saying. It's like, what do you want to do? Psyche. That's also your subconscious, your soul, your spirit. And yes, your ego, your mind. <laughs> so try not to suppress your emotions, but understand that your emotions are your drive. That's what's driving you forward, forward, motion, forward motion. We think not only with our minds, but with our feelings. And when you are in charge of your emotions, when you use that power for good, now you've harnessed your superpower. It's like, hold on, hold on to those reins and let's go. Because now you know what's driving you. And now you are unstoppable. This has been proven time and time again throughout history. I could give you thousands of examples. Thousands of examples where leaders have had a clear intention. They had a clear vision. They knew what they were going. And they had this emotional drive. And... Nothing was going to distract them for their end goal. It happens every day, and you don't have to be a world leader. But I think if I gave you one example, just one example of a household name, that no matter where you live in the world, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Nelson Mandela and the uh, <laughs> the man was... He was a real thought leader. And I'm going to give you a quote. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. That's emotion. Even when he was feeling afraid all those years, he knew that if he gave in to that fear, he was no longer in control of himself. When you take control and you match your emotion to your intention, you no longer allow others to push your buttons. You are in control. You no longer dwell on the past. No, nope. in the rearview mirror. Don't be looking there. You are leading yourself now. And all those people you influence, those children you're raising, those students in your class, you are leading them now with optimism forward. Nelson Mandela also said, and I love this, I never lose. I either win or I learn. Put that one on your phone. Set that as your screensaver. 
put that as your daily, daily reminder because that is a fantastic perspective. Fantastic. Every day, it's impossible to lose. It's impossible to lose because if you're not winning, you're learning. That just turned the frown upside down, didn't it? Hey, <laughs> I mean, I love this. Teach it in schools. Teach it. Teach it to your children. Help them. Set the mindset. Because that perspective, that perspective, in a nutshell, kept Nelson Mandela strong. Kept him strong. And he triumphed over his emotions, didn't he? And as a result, mm, our world is a better place because of him and what he did and how he led and his perseverance and <laughs> everything he went through. So I wanted to give you a very clear example of what I mean about matching your emotions to your intention. When your vision and values are clear, the decisions and priorities come to you a lot easier. They are because now you are being true to your character. Be true to yourself. Be true to others. Be true to the people around you. Optimism, positive vibes. Now you are doing exactly what you know you want to do. You've set a goal. You've set an intention. And you feel like doing it. You actually feel like doing it. So how do we get this done? Brings me to number three. Schedule everything possible. Everything humanly possible. It's a great way to start because until, unless you're used to it, unless you're just feeling your time clock, you need to plan. You need to plan. It makes you accountable. It gives you a timeline and gives you a deadline. Like you know, hey, if I do this today, in five days, 10 days, 30 days, this is where I'm going to be. Like how exciting is that? That, that is actually a really exciting way of looking at it. The best thing about it is what it doesn't do though. What scheduling doesn't do is make you feel overwhelmed because now you've broken it down. You got little time blocks. I'm not saying plan every hour of your day. I'm saying, what is your goal today? And you're not going to sleep until you've done that. What is it you need to do today? Plan your schedule work backwards. When you schedule your day, your week, your month, and building those time blocks, you're now reaching those goals. You're reaching your intention. You're reaching your purpose. And guess what? You can schedule downtime. Why not? You schedule holidays. When people used to vacation. <laughs> but you know what I mean. And if, if you have something that you really, you know, makes you unwind at the end of the day and you want to just like a little laugh and watch a Netflix show, schedule it because you know, oh, now I have to get my goal of the day done before I turn on Netflix for the night. Or I have to get my goal done before I start unwinding and making dinner for the family. Work your time backwards. And if you're a visual person, I think most of us are. I've only met a few people that are not in, in, the, <laughs> in my travels. But if you're a visual person, you may want to reconsider where your calendar is. Do you have a calendar? Do you have a schedule? Put it on paper? Yes, paper. So if you're juggling work from home, children and they're trying to have their lessons online and you're in, you have a dog and a cat and you're overwhelmed put the big picture on the wall set your intention 
and have your family set their intention. Know the schedule. Know what is going on. Just like your commute time when you went to work. Now you're working from home, maybe. Just like time to get to school, make school lunches. Mm, it all can be scheduled now for a home schedule. Schedule playtime. Go outside, play some basketball, go, go for a walk around the block. Nature's, nature's amazing. You need to schedule your time at home to be productive in a work from home scenario. And if that means on the schedule that you've created for not only yourself, but your whole family, if it's your turn to walk the dog today, schedule it. If it means you have to get up 10 minutes earlier, schedule it, do it. Take accountability because when it aligns with your intention and your emotion, it's sweet, it's gravy. And if you do not get up early enough to walk the dog to get your goal done that day, and now the dog needs to go out, and now the dog is barking, and now you're losing focus because everyone's saying, well, it was your turn to walk the dog, I'm not doing it. Take responsibility and schedule it until at least it becomes a new habit that you can automatically, yep, today's my day to walk the dog, I know I have to get up 10 minutes earlier. Depends on the size of your dog, how big a walk you're going. <laughs> If you leave your time to randomness, you are stealing from your greatness. Brendan Bouchard. So when I recommend schedule everything, I mean everything right down to walking the dog. And every day you're showing up for yourself. And as a result, those you imprint upon, those you influence, those who are watching you, even if they're not listening to you very powerful stuff. Set your intention and align your emotion and you will reach your goals. You will. What do you want? What do you want? How? How does that make you feel? How are you going to feel when you get what you want? And what is the plan? What is the plan? Because you need a strategy whether you're working from home you have five kids, four kids, three kids, four dogs, whatever you have. You need a plan. And even if you are living alone, what's the plan today? Set that intention. You want to leave an imprint on the world. You want to leave the world a better place. You want people to be able to say, hey, you know what? He, she, they made a difference in my world. You don't have to be a global leader to change. <laughs> you need to change how you deal with what you want because then life will be so much more satisfying, so much more satisfying. But if you want to talk about great leaders or household names, think of Warren Buffett. I mean, this man, he has done amazing things and is also... <laughs> quite the influencer and he takes time to talk to to students and he tells them you only get one mind and one body and it's got to last a lifetime but if you don't take care of that mind and that body there'll be a wreck 40 years later it's what you do right now today that determines how your mind and body will operate 10, 20, 30 years from now. That goes for the same for your children, your students, your employees. Part of that care is to set your intention, drive it with your emotion and make a plan. Strategize and prioritize and make this a great year a year about you and your family and how much you are going to grow 
and stretch and thrive and be present in the moment. Because that's the best present you can give anybody, even yourself. By sharing your time with me today, I know, I already know you believe in yourself. You believe in self-development. You believe in helping your children or those you influence live with a healthy mind, body, and spirit. For that, I applaud you. Let's make 2021 a fantastic year, everybody. Fantastic. Make it about reaching, stretching, growing towards your goals, your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations. Match your emotions to your intention. They're going to drive you forward every day. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. And if one day doesn't go planned, hey, no problem. Recalibrate, get back on the horse, set sail in the right direction. Because we all have the same amount of time. And you need to know where it's going. You need to make a plan. Think backwards. Your emotions are just going to drive themselves. You're going to be psyched. You're going to be happier. You're going to glow. You're going to smile. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, life, life is great. Because it is. Life is great. We all survived 2020. Nothing's going to stop us now. Live well. <laughs>